Yes, in this video, we are going to see uh, a more interesting of an Ajax applications. I will show you the program. Yes, this is extracting data from the database, okay, from the server. How fast it extracts. When the user start typing itself, it will start taking with the matching thing, it will take that. Which is similar to uh, suggestions given by the Google. Okay, when you type in the search box, it automatically gives you suggestions. So similar to that, we can see our output in the, uh, here. Now, the, everything is same. Here we have created a form element. And in the text, uh, we have uh, what the use, we are going to get the roll number. So what we are going to use is we are going to use the PHP my admin. I'll show that yes, this already we have created uh, and the database is student DB, and within that we have created a table called student underscore personal, and this has the following data that is and two data are there Anita and Ashwin hundred and so two data are there. This we are going to extract it. Now, even I can, uh, let me add some data. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now one row is inserted. Now you can see your result in brown. So let us say, 100 or not one day, three values are there. Okay, now uh, I would like to insert one more data where I want to assign rule number something different. And beneath, okay, this is rule number, let us say 90. Okay, mark 80. So go, now it has been added. Now to see that, see. Uh, roll number is 90. It automatically uh, sort based on this value. Now we are going to see uh, with this data, we'll see how it works. So remember the database name is student DB and the table name is student table. And we are going to extract the data using the roll number, right? Now I just, I'm going to execute this program and then I'll explain the program. Now this is a program which extract data from the server. Now I give this, when I say nine, data from database has come. See here, the data is coming. Now it waits, one, zero, one. It has given the data, two. It's not there. So, but one not one is there, so it has brought the data. One not eight is there, one not six is not there. Okay, so no data. So, but when I start entering itself, it started bringing the data exact match and then immediately it brings the data. That is the magic of the Ajax. Now we'll see the program coding. See here, uh, we have uh, declared a form element and within that a text box is declared. That is what uh, we are doing it here. We are getting the data. So this has been printed in the header and then here we are get the input. So text. Then we have given a name for the text box at CT and then on key app, we'll start, uh, when the user start typing itself, we start, we call this load data. So, and there is a div element, which is present in that. There only we are printing the data, which is extracted from the server. Now, uh, here, the function load data, which we are, so when the user start typing itself, this will be called and then it will be received uh, whatever that is placed on this uh, text that is received and placed in the local variable called v1 and then that we send it to the php underscore connect one dot php where the database connectivity is formed the data is all the query is there and that data will be sent and which will be received and displayed on the uh, development okay so 
this is how we pass the data uh, which we are getting it here so val equal to then p1 this we are passing now this is the variable which we are going to get it there so we are sending it through the get method so dollar underscore get val that is what we are going to use it there now here this is for uh, all the other explorer sorry all the other browsers and this is for the ie explorer so it creates an xml http request object an instance of the object is formed with a, for which we have given this name okay so then we are uh, using the callback function the data received from the server is displayed in the development and it will be checked for whether all the data has been downloaded properly by using the ready state and status uh code okay so it must be equal to ready state must be equal to 4 and status must be equal to 200 for the whole data to be uh, to check whether all the data has been received from the server or not so this is uh, then after that uh, this is only a checking thing here we actually open uh, using the open method we uh, op uh, we create the, we pass the url etc and then we send this information to the server so we are using get method, then this URL, which is nothing but this is what, then and then to true. Now we'll see the, uh, uh, the PHP site here. To see this program, uh, DB handle MySQL connect. So using MySQL connect, we pass four arguments. The first is localhost, then the root, that is username, then password, that is no password, and then the table name. Remember, this is the table, uh, sorry, stu, uh, database name. This is the database name we have given that. If it is not successful, then the statement will be execute exception and it will stop that, the program stop that. Or else if it is successful, then it moves to the next statement, which is nothing but dollar get val. And this is what we pass it here. See here, in this val, we place this value. So we are, we are extracting that value from the, first we get that value from the URL uh, we and we place it in a local variable of PHP. Then we uh, execute the query. Select start from student personal where role number equal to. We substitute this value. So if, uh, whatever uh, text box in the text box role number the user has entered, that data will be extracted from the database. Then we execute the query. This is only a string. We pass it to the MySQL query. Uh, as a second argument, this query is passed. First argument will be the DB handle, that is this database connectivity. Then if it is successful, then it goes to the next statement. Else it will execute, uh, it will display the error it has been done in this. Okay, then data from the database, this is uh, this data, this value is displayed if it is successful. And then we extract the data because here the data is, uh, extracted when once the query is executed the data is present in the data one so from this it will be like an array and we are going to extract one by one data from that so using this data one you see using while we extract row by row that is on array element by another element and put it in row here since it is only one data is matched only one information because roll number is unique suppose two two students who are having banu banu like that, if they are having two names, same name, then uh, two rows will be the matching criteria. It has matched two data. So that will be put it as an array and we can display it one by one. So here, this is a generalized program, which works even if a single element is written or more than one element is also written. Then we display it by using this, uh, by the heading, ST name and roll number. These are all the heading in the table. So this is how we are able to see our output yeah now suppose let me say we are going to uh, uh, enter the same student let me extract uh, since i have not given any uh, rule number validation that is it must be unique that i haven't given so let us say i am inserting another one with the same rule number so that will be easy for just to show you uh, let me say Bharati, the roll number 108. Already this 108 is there. Since I have not given it as a primary key, it will accept. The duplication it will accept. Just to show you that more than one row is written. Error. Okay. 
I have okay, okay. I have given as a primary key, so it is not allowing me. Okay. So I'm not supposed to give it here. But uh, okay, I give not nine. But here I can give bono. Same name I can give. Now I can extract whoever is having the name bono. Okay. So now we see that. See, two people are having the same name, but their roll numbers are different. So how to extract data of this type? So in which case I have to make a modification. Here all these things are same, but here instead of roll number, I have to substitute ST name. ST name equal to, and I have to close it dot since name is a worker i have to be careful giving that name dollar a and then this yes so what happened when i give within quotes single quotes that value will be correctly substituted and this is for concatenation okay so we'll see how it gets executed so Now I have to give bono. See, two bonos just given. Okay, asking. There's only one asking is present. So like this. So Ajax is a technique where you can bring the data very fast without reloading. Only the required element will be. Uh, informations will be extracted from the server and that will be displayed on the client side. That is why it is very fast. 